All right, for people who do not know, uh, there was a weekly or like a test weekly that happened yesterday. You know, a lot of the uh, top uh, New England players came through, with the exception of a couple people. I won the weekly through winners. I had some close sets. I'd consider this a very good unrusting for me because, uh, yeah, I'm going to explain just how awful I did. So, uh, I mean, I guess I can explain a lot of stuff in detail. Uh, I walked up, I said PS2, and he said, yup. And that's how we got to PS2, like any other good set. I do the good old, I know Wario wants to run back at the very beginning, so I just call him out. I played this so bad, so the way this matchup is supposed to work is that, uh, I do a lot of baiting. It's obviously very hard because, uh, you know, not too long ago I was at 7%, and, uh, I whiffed, and now I'm at 50. I need to start doing actual combos and going for cheese. A lot of a lot of this like matchup can basically come down to I need to play advantage state ah, phenomenally, which is hard because he's very floaty and he has a really easy time trading. Ooh, you know, I've seen I've seen worse punishes. I will say, I'm still trying to feel out like his ledge options and stuff right now. That sucked. What was I doing? What is this paralyzer? You know, I think it was supposed to be a beer burst. That makes a little more sense now. I just miss input. Oh god. I, okay, I watched this happen way too often. You did a lot of double rolls yesterday, and I'm goaded for them. Where uh, I would run off to do an aerial like this, and then the aerial just wouldn't come out because I would do it too late. One thing I was uh, kind of frustrated about, you know, aside from having to play against Wario, is that uh, I couldn't punish his jump get up. It was really hard. This is a good reaction for me here. So like here, uh... I know that he has enough time to drift out because he's trying to fake that he's landing on the platform, but I know he has enough time to fake drifting out, so I just read that he goes to the right. And I side B and he's dead. I gotta get back into the habit of uh, holding down while I'm getting comboed so I land faster. It's a fast faller way. You can break up a lot of pseudo combos that way, especially if you're a fast faller. There you go, trying to, trying to punish the, oh Jesus dude, the panic, hello. Try to punish the jump get up again here. It's hard. You don't want Wario to stall for too long on the ledge because then he just gets free waft. This is garbage, dude. What? The, the, I think that's there. I just did it was fine. I was trying to read a, a dash back jump. Okay, I, I do also remember letting him get away with jumping over me way too many times. He keeps letting me get off of ledge for free, which is weird. He did it for the whole set too. He just doesn't ledge at me, which I get he's like respecting um, uh, down B. He's respecting down B, but still. You gotta, you gotta try something. Nice up B, good. He tried to kill me. Those, those down tilts were to catch my buffer jump. I started to realize that like XL also had a lot of my timings down. Which as you can see, I tried to mix up there because he was going for like a lot of parries and stuff. So I figured he would try to parry this here. So I do an empty land up smash, but he likes holding on to his lead. So he didn't play anti and he just shielded and punished, which is good on him. I think, I mean, so a lot of people would see this waft and think it's bad, but it's really not that bad of a waft because you know, it, here he can see that I went right. And if I short hop, that would have hit. This right here definitely would have hit. Cause uh, I didn't commit to pressing any buttons. I reacted to the part where he jumped and then I started leaning back, but like at this point, having a full waft or a half waft doesn't matter. I'm very happy with my mix up here. I noticed that his positioning was really weird cause normally he would like ledge trap him under the platform or on the platform. So I just did a standard get up instead of doing the normal shit that I usually do, which would be like drop off ledge and then just like react and see what they do. But just did normal get up and I got out for free. At this point, I want him to overextend. That's why I'm like, I'm planking here. Miss inputs. You love to see it. I did a lot of those. I wanted F tilt. And this might be the end. No. I, do, okay, hold on. How close is I to the blast zone? Because uh, I think my mash saved me. Holy. No. Oh. Yeah, he panicked, hold in. Wait, he, did he put himself on the floor? I didn't really think about how stupid that is. But that bike would have killed me if that actually hit. I love to see that, a, a contrary to popular belief. Oh, whoa, stop right there, all right? Subscribe to the channel right now, and ain't nobody's gotta get hurt. Yeah, I played this next game garbage. I, I, I am not used to small battlefield. I don't know what it is, but I think every single game I played on small battlefield, I lost. Combos. Garbage! What is wrong with me? Hit the combo, you idiot. You set this up here. Nice reaction time, Mars. Top 10 Mars react moments. He starts panicking. For some reason, that down here hit me. I still got the clutch gene. You guys can't deny I still got my clutch gene. I, I played these last sequences pretty well. Except for the last, last sequence. You know what I mean? 
So uh, basically what I wanted to do here was reverse jump, and I didn't react. You know why? Because if I did a, if I jumped backwards, that down air would have lined up perfectly. Damn, that really whiffed. That last up air whiffed. Yeah, I, I double jumped. I'm an idiot. Uh, fun fact for ZSS players, if you don't want to grab, down smash is a good substitute. Nice forward smash. I'm just panicking, dude. I, uh, I'm not used to, to the nerves, dude, I guess. Yeah? Wario Forder wins here? Yeah, good. Thank God. Just, you know, he needs it. All right, my clutch sheen activates. I play better. And I decide. I think at this point on, I decided that... No center stage for him, because he just wants to drop off back here. Misspaced. You fool. There we go. This is, a, this is a nice little treat. This isn't a set we're watching, but we're watching the end. Because man's got schmixed. Check it. Brevity, I hope you're in chat. Get your jump red. Get your stupid recovery and stupid air dodge red. Goodbye. All right, for reference, this is my first time ever playing against the Sephiroth. I haven't played any of the new DLC characters, like any good players of the new DLC characters. Yeah, I had to experiment like what worked in neutral, how far I could press my, uh, you know, hits. Nair is like the biggest thing that I have to avoid. Everything else has enough startup for me to like not really need to respect it. But uh, I mean, I figured that out part way through the set. How does the Sephiroth matchup feel? ZSS definitely wins. I just have to figure it out, you know? I think people don't use counter enough against ZSS. Counter is super good against CSS. She already has to pick her spots pretty well. And uh, if you can catch her, picking her spot poorly, <laughs> you can counter her. And she's a lightweight. So that sucks. Any damage sucks. Yeah, I don't think that up E is contestable. I uh, I was theory crafting mid gameplay on how to do it. I can't believe that back air whiff. This was bizarre to me. I saw him like whiff and I was like, I'll start up as air. And then he beat me to it with the forward air, so. Something I started thinking about was how early I had to start my jumps. I was like, yeah, he probably can't, like, kill me with a grab, so I'm, I'm gonna try turtling a little bit. And, uh, crawling is usually a good option in the corner. It doesn't work. Ooh, ledge pressure, or corner pressure. Ooh, big-ass sword. Really good dash attack there. He created space to make me feel comfortable, and then he immediately closed the gap. I didn't know if this was the correct option, but I did it. And it felt good. I felt like I needed more space to maneuver around your stuff. I mean, I think PS2 had enough space, but I thought that this would just be better. He kept drifting in, and now he got zero to death. Congratulations. Oh, dude, if I killed you after that taunt, that would have been poetic, dude. And it would have been put straight onto Twitter. Jesus, yelling isn't a good commentary. DZ! This dude thought I wouldn't grab on a platform. Get one of this, dude! Thank you for the safe forward smash. Shoutouts to Sharp. I'm trash. Godlike tech. I gotta get used to field base and air flip kick, dude. I, uh, I whiffed too many this tournament. The Mars Gambit! The Mars Gambit! He thought he was gonna dash back, but there's the Mars Gambit! Yeah, I gotta remember to stop doing dash up jab because uh, it doesn't work versus jumpy boys oh that's the old mars that's the old mars coming back look back though parry attempt four tilt cover the ground down b because i'm autopiloting air dodge because hitboxes panic Woo! there we go and that's the that moment was the one that was a uh, that changed the set forever oh this clip is brazy hold up this whole stock i played phenomenally run this whole thing back Missed the combo, definitely on purpose. Read the jump, uh, uh, and then here we go with a little bit more nooch. He tried to kill my ass, he was greedy. Thinking I would dash back like a coward. Whoop, 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 ah! Who you think of? Parry, you dead. Put, put him away, don't let it be you, chat. Did you mean to parry? Yeah, dude, that is such a reactable down smash. What do you mean, did I mean to parry? Of course I did. Woo! A Mars Classic, baby, a Oh, it was a three stock, huh? Will he go to Sephiroth again? No, it was a Reba Hob. And I already had this Joker downloaded. I knew it was over. Oh, I love stop F tilt. You guys try doing that without tilt stick. Th this this sequence right here. Boom, try that without F without tilt stick. Cringe, why did it work? I'm glad he died. I saw you getting a little too jumpy, a little too approachy for tilt. Oh, I should have died. 
cringe. Above ZSS. Run up shield. This dude thinks I'm gonna forward air. This is exactly what Sharp is talking about, by the way. These, like, approach 50-50s. It's like, oh, is he gonna grab or is he gonna toss? Well, look at this. Grabbed. <laughs> the lag ends up mad early because that's there. That's partially why I like town. I get to get away with more stupid downbees off ledge. Jab faster than shield. Jab faster than shield. If you're a ZSS player with a frame one jab, use it more than shield. Dude, the confidence... Dude, all right, having confidence in your movement... Like, I know this stupid little shimmy thing was just whatever. But, like, the rest of this... Confidence in your movement is such good free conditioning. Because, like, then your opponent's like, I got no idea what he's gonna do. It's too ambiguous. I just gotta do something. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, ah you're good. See, so, dude, look, look at the body language. That's all intentional. And people can usually tell when you're confident with your movement. There you go.